Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning about perimeter. Hi Niall. Do you know what perimeter means? Um, the, out, the total length around something. So the total distance around something. What do you have on the board behind you? A rectangle. How do you know it's a rectangle Niall? Because there are two pairs of equal length sides. Okay, the opposite sides are equal. That makes how many sides in all? Um, that makes four sides. Good. So if you were to use your finger to go around the perimeter of the shape, what would you do? Can you stand to the side so we can see? What would you do? Um, I would see how, lo how long I went. Okay, but where would you travel? Can you choose a starting point? Here. Okay, and where would you travel? I would go here. Yes. And then I would go here, and then I would go here, and then I would go here. Okay, and you'd stop when you get back to the point where you started? Yes, because there's a wall. Okay, so do you know what the long side of a rectangle is called? The length. And what about the short side? The width. The width. So we're going to walk around again but this time we're going to count as we go along the distance that we're traveling with your finger and here is what it here's how long the length is and ha here's how long the width is very good so how long is the length um eight centimeters and both the width? Of them. um four centimeters and you said both of them because you know a rectangle has two pairs of equal sides. Very good, Naya. So let's find the starting point. Uh, here. Okay, and we're going to start travelling around the perimeter, counting as we go along. So this is four centimetres. Yes. This is eight centimetres, and four plus eight is twelve centimetres. Yes. Plus four centimetres um, is sixteen centimetres. Mm -hmm. And 16 centimetres plus 8 centimetres is 24. 24 what? Centimetres. Okay, so the perimeter of that rectangle is? 24 centimetres. 24 centimetres, very good. Niall, what do you have behind you now? Another rectangle. Does that look like it's actually 12 centimetres and 5 centimetres? No! So there's something that we say in maths, it's not drawn to scale. And what that means, Niall, is exactly that. It, it's not, it's, it says something and that's what it means, but it's like there's not the actual size of it. It's so. not the actual length, exactly. So we've blown it up a bit so that we have a good size picture for the video. It's not really 12 centimetres and not really 5 centimetres, but we have to work it out as if it's exactly 12 and 5. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. Okay, good. So you need to work out the perimeter of that rectangle. So can you explain? Um, so there are 12 centimetres here. Mm -hmm. And there are 5 centimetres here. Mm -hmm. So 12 plus 5, and then we'll times that by 2. Ooh, very good, Niall. Why are you doing that? Because there are two 12s and two 5s. Okay, that might be a bit tricky, but I'm interested to see where you're going with so that. So 12 plus 5, um, so 12 plus 5, well, 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17. Okay. Yes, 12 plus 5 is 17 times 2. So 7 times 2 is 14. And 10 times 2 is 20. So we add that 20 and 14 together. So 20 add the 10 from the 14. Is 30 and 30 of the re remaining 4 is 34. 34? 34. 34 what? Centimetres. Excellent, now that is correct. Can you just use your finger and just show everyone what the perimeter is? So 12 plus 5 plus 12 
plus another five. Okay, that was a really, really good strategy. Well done. What shape do you have behind you now, Maya? Another rectangle. Okay, what makes this rectangle a bit trickier? It has 4.5 centimetres. What's another way of saying 4.5? Four, four and a half. Four and a half centimetres. But then two halves make a whole. Excellent now, I like the way you're thinking. So what's a good way to easily work out the perimeter? Um, so we have 4.5 centimetres, so we can add these to 4.5 centimetres, which equals 9 centimetres, and to 10 centimetres, which is 20, so 29 centimetres. Is the perimeter of that rectangle? Yes. Very good, Naya. Well done. So, what shape do you have behind you now? Um, an irregular triangle. Irregular. I mean, unregular. Unregular. I mean, not regular. <laughs> not regular works or irregular. <laughs> or <Okay>. irregular. <laughs> ah, I keep forgetting what that is. That's fine. There's actually another name for it. It's called a scalene triangle. But you'll learn Wait, this is in... a scalene triangle? Yes, when all I've the already, sides... Um, I've already heard of scalene triangles, but I wasn't quite sure what they are. Okay, so a scalene triangle is a triangle where all the sides are of different lengths. And this one is a special one because I have my pointer you with me. You do have your pointer. So what I want you to do is I want you to use your pointer and travel along the perimeter of that triangle like you're a little ant. Um, so we have 8 centimetres yes. plus 6 centimetres, which is 14, I mean 14 centimetres. Yes. No, isn't it? Yeah, 14 centimetres. Yes. And then 14 centimetres plus 12 centimetres is 26 centimetres. Very good, so the perimeter is 26 centimetres. What do you have behind you now? Another scaling triangle. And remind us, why is it a scaling triangle? Um, because it has three different sides. Okay, and what are the lengths of the three sides? 5 centimetres, 13 centimetres and 9 centimetres. Okay. And again, it's not the exact length. Okay, it's not drawn to scale, but we have to use those measurements to work out the... Total... Perimeter. Perimeter. Okay, good. So why don't you explain what you're going to do? Um, maybe I'll do the 5 with the 9 first. So I'll start here, yes. and then I'll go up here, which is 5 centimetres, yes. and then I'll go down to 9 centimetres, which is 14 centimetres, yes. and then the 14 centimetres at the 13 centimetres is 14 plus 13, 27 centimetres. So what is the perimeter? 27 centimetres. Very good. You have another shape behind you. What is that? A square. It is a square. And what makes it look like a square? How does it look? Um, it looks like all the sides are equal length. Okay, and that is correct. It actually is a square. So why do you think I've only put one measurement in? Because a square is equal length all around, so there's no need to put them anywhere else because it would always be three centimetres. Very good, Maya. So how do you work out the perimeter of that square? Um, we just add we times three by four. Very good. Why do times three by four? Because there are four sides, so we times and the and they're all three centimetres. So we have to times the three centimetres by four. Okay, and what will that be equal to? Twelve centimetres. Very good. Okay, Niall, I can tell you behind you is another square. Yes. The difference with this question is I don't want you to work out the perimeter because I've given you the perimeter. Yes, and it's 20 centimetres. Yes. But what I think what we need to do is to find out how long one of these are. One of the sides, exactly. So is one of them five? Five centimetres. Why five do you think it's five centimetres? Because there are four sides so, and five goes into 24 times. Very good, Niall. So you've done 
20 divided by 4, which is 5. Can you check it's 5 by going counting around as you walk around? So I count in 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. Very good, so you're correct. So Yay! the length of each side is 5 centimetres. Good job. Yes. One more question behind you, Niall. What do you have there? A rectangle, mm -hmm. which, and it tells us which, the length, which is 9 centimetres, and the perimeter, which is 24 centimetres. What do you think you need to work out? The width. Okay, do you have any ideas? Um, yes. We can do the length plus the length, which is 18. So you're adding the two lengths? Yes. Okay. So which 18. is 18, and we can just quickly count from 18 to 24. Why are you doing that? Um, because that will give us the answer of our width. Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking away the lengths from the perimeter, so you'll be yes. left with the widths. And then I'll cut. Oh no, the widths, I'll cut it in half. Okay. So we need to share the width so they're both of the same amount. Very good. So let's start with the taking away. So can you tell us again what you got when you added the lengths together? Um, 18. Okay, and you're going to take away 18 from what? 24, and a quick way to do that is just count up. Okay, so go on. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Good. So? The answer is 6. Okay, does that mean the width is 6? No. What does it mean? Um, the width is 3 because we need to share that 6. Okay, so you're saying the width is 3 centimetres. Yes. And you are absolutely correct. Can you just go around counting it and see if it adds up? Um, around counting it? Can you count oh, the yeah, perimeter? Yeah, yeah. So, so 9 centimetres plus 3 centimetres is 12. Okay. Plus 9 is... Oh, 21. Wait, 21 plus the 3 is 24. So you are absolutely correct. And it says 24 here. Very good, Niall. So that was your first perimeter lesson, and I think you absolutely smashed it. Yes. So well done. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, subscribe now, because we're on a quest to get to 1,000 subscribers. So bye, don't forget to press that like button.